today we will start the first chapter of the 11th class that is the diversity in the living world when i say diversity what does it mean diversity means different varieties in the living world so in this chapter we will study about the diversity in the living world and the taxonomical categories so in this chapter we will also study that the living and non living things what is life now then we will study about the biodiversity what is the biodiversity then we will discuss about the nomenclature then we will discuss about the classification then in last the taxonomical categories okay so what is living and non living things when i say living thing so living thing are capable to metabolize they can perform their basic metabolic function independently they do not need any other external source they can respond to external stimulus that it i bite myself to myself means i can sense it i have a consciousness first next is the non living things so in the ncert is had mentioned that the in any meat matter so in and uh, so non living things are those things which cannot perform their basic metabolic functions okay so early man could easily perceive the difference between the inanimate matter that is the non living thing matter and the living organism early man worshiped some of the inanimate matters such as wind sea fire as you can see the tribal used to as you can see the tribal used to worship the mountains or the uh, plants and some among the animals and the plants for example as in the chatisgarh tribe they used to worship the trees so there is this scientist that is the arnest mayer what he did he almost single handed handedly made the origin of species diversity but so there is this scientist that is the arnest mayer he almost single handedly so arnest mayer he almost single handedly made the origin of species diversity the central question of evolutionary biology that is today he pioneered the current accepted definition of biological species mainly the main point here is the he pioneered the term that is the biological species now let's discuss discuss about the introduction of the living world the extraordinary habitat in which we find living organism it could be mountain deciduous forest fresh water lake desert or hot or spring so the beauty of galloping horses or the migrating birds the belly of the flowers or the attacking shark evoke you and deep sense of the wonder a living organism is self replicating evolving and self regulating interacting system capable capable of responding the external stimulus okay so life is if i respond to a person if somebody is biting me and i respond to the, to the external environment that is the life because i am my body is capable to perform the all the functions and such as the stimulus respond to the external stimulus so what is the purpose of life we are here on the earth so what is the purpose of life so the main purpose of the life is the survival if we survive 
then we can perform the, all the basic functions on the earth such as the main the function of the uh, main the fun, the main function on the earth is the reproduction that is the plant all the life shares the at least one essential purpose that is the survival this is even more important than another key purpose of the life that is the reproduction okay so plenty of organism after all all are alive but do not reproduce yes do we alive is more than passing genes along the next generation it means for example that is the as have you seen as do not reproduce but it is alive on their basic functions so these different kind of plants and animals or organism that you see represent a species okay so there are the different kind of the organism as you see on the earth such as the plants animals that represent the species a number of species that are known and described between the 1.7 to 1.8 million this refers refers to the biodiversity so you can see there is number of the organism on the earth that represent the biodiversity so i already earlier stated that there are the million of plants and animals in the world so they are all known by their local language so these local language would vary from place to place even within a country so let it my name is here is nisha so my mother used to call me nishu or so there is a different difference between the recalling of the names so probably you would recognize the confusion that would be created if did not find ways and means to talk to each other to refer the organism so to find the solution to recognize the one standard name scientists what they did scientists did the scientists worked on the nomenclature to Standardize the naming of living organism such that particular organism is known by the same name all over the world. This process is called nomenclature. Obviously, nomenclature or naming naming is only possible when organism is described correctly, and we know to what organism the name is attached to. This is called as identification. for example in india any plant is called violet is lily or in india when we when we move to the west latin country that it, it is known as the lily so you can see there are two different names of the one plant but what scientists did they said we will standardize the name so it will be easy to naming the plant all over the world so everybody will recall the plant by the same name in the scientifically so here is the carlos linnaeus what he did the system of naming the two component that is the binomial nomenclature and it is proposed by the linnaeus so in order to facilitate the study the number of scientists have established procedures to assign the scientific name to each known organism that i already told you this is acceptable to biologists all over the world for plant scientific names are based on the agreed principle okay for naming all these plants there are some rules there are some criteria what are the these criteria okay so there are the criteria according to the they are classified that is the botanical names of the plants are based on the 
इंटरनेशनल कॉर्ड फॉर बोटेनिकल नॉमन क्लेचर एंड दी नदर वन इज दी जूलॉजिकल नेम्स आर बेस्ड ऑन दी इंटरनेशनल कोड फॉर जूलॉजिकल नॉमन क्लेचर तो इफ आई हैव टू आई हैव टू असाइन अ नेम टू अ प्लांट सो आई हैव टू फॉलो द रूल्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द इंटरनेशनल कोड फॉर बोटेनिकल नेचर बोटेनिकल नॉमन क्लेचर इफ आई हैव टू असाइन अ नेम टू अनिमल then i have to follow the international code for zoological nomenclature in which the rules are mentioned how the plant will be classified so since it is really nearly pos- impossible to study all the living organism it is necessary to devise the means to make it possible so classification is the process by which anything is grouped into convenient categories okay that is the grouping of the organism on the basis of the characters so it is easy to uh, grouping the organism for example we easily recognize the groups such as plants or animals dogs cats or insect so when i say there is a term that is a tautonym then i will tell you this the later on 